Mark Haddon's contemporary novel, A Spot of Bother, 2006, revolves around a hypochondriac plagued by thoughts of his imminent demise and family conflicts. Garnering positive critical acclaim, the book was a contender for the Costa Book Award in 2006. Mark Haddon, a celebrated British author recognized for his excellence in both adult and children's literature, gained prominence with his debut work, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, a novel narrated from the perspective of a character with Asperger's syndrome. A Spot of Bother stands as his second novel. The central figure, George Hall, aged 61, resides in England alongside his wife, Jean. Having recently retired after a long career in the manufacture of playground equipment, George envisions a tranquil existence devoid of any excitement or turbulence. His reserved nature and difficulty in handling emotions cause him to overlook Jean's presence. George dedicates his time to fretting over his health, exhibiting hypochondriac tendencies that lead him to suspect fatal implications for every minor ailment. The only moments he experiences strong emotion are those when he frets about his own well-being. Aware of Jean's extramarital affair, George remains unperturbed as it results in her leaving him alone. Yet, beneath his facade, George remains profoundly discontented, secretly craving a resurgence of excitement in his life. His discontentment stems from a lack of awareness of his own emotional needs. One fateful day, a skin discoloration emerges on George's hip. In typical fashion, George leaps to the conclusion that it is cancerous. While the doctor reassures him it's merely eczema, George remains unconvinced, especially as the discoloration transforms into a lesion. Despite his protestations, the doctor maintains his diagnosis. Frustrated, George takes matters into his own hands, attempting to remove the lesion himself. However, his efforts lead to an improperly stitched wound, resulting in profuse bleeding. Desiring to conceal the self-inflicted wound, George seizes a chisel from his cellar workshop and stages an accident to explain his injuries. He smears blood in the cellar, mimicking a struggle up the stairs, all to keep his impulsive actions a secret from others. Jean dials for an ambulance, leading to George's hospitalization. While the doctors discern the true circumstances, they keep the truth from Jean. Following a brief hospital stay, George returns home, where Jean remains distant due to her ongoing involvement with her secret partner. Their daughter, Katie, pays them a visit and reveals her engagement to Ray, a figure George strongly disapproves of, believing he isn't suitable for Katie. However, her determination to marry Ray remains unwavering, regardless of her father's reservations. Simultaneously, their son, Jamie, learns of Katie's engagement, a development he also disapproves of. He keeps this information from his boyfriend, Tony, due to the family's unawareness of Jamie's homosexuality. Jamie feels it would be inappropriate to introduce Tony until his family knows the truth. Unfortunately, Tony eventually discovers the wedding plans and is hurt by Jamie's actions, leading to a breakup and Tony's decision to cut ties. Amidst this turmoil, George finds himself reflecting on his life, plagued by a sense of wasted youth and a perception of meaninglessness. Battling intense panic attacks, he grapples with the daunting prospect of facing Katie's wedding. The emotional distance between Jean and George widens, manifesting in her blatant disrespect, including engaging in an affair in their marital bed. Even when George catches them together, he remains remarkably composed, suspecting that he no longer harbors love for Jean. When Katie's wedding day arrives, George seizes the opportunity to deliver a speech. Despite Jamie's attempt to stop him, George persists, determined to confront the large crowd and conquer his anxieties. With the aid of anti-anxiety medication, George successfully executes his speech, though its content is profoundly somber as he contemplates life's brevity. While such introspection isn't conventional for a wedding address, Katie recognizes its significance to George and allows him to finish expressing his thoughts. The speech instills a newfound sense of confidence in George. This newfound courage prompts him to directly confront Jean's boyfriend and engage in a physical altercation. Curious about how George discovered the affair, Jean seeks answers, yet remains unwilling to extend an apology. As George grapples with the reality of their shattered marriage, he laments the idea of divorce at their advanced age, considering the years they've invested together. A bittersweet decision is reached, they'll remain married, albeit leading separate lives. 
Determined to embrace happiness, George shifts his focus to things that bring him joy. He returns to his quiet routines, allowing Jean to continue her affair without further interference. Simultaneously, Jamie reconciles with Tony, and Katie eases into her married life. George comes to realize the accuracy of his words during the wedding speech. The brevity of life becomes a poignant truth, prompting him to reconsider his preoccupation with health concerns. Amidst the shifting dynamics and personal revelations, George begins to understand that he shouldn't squander his time worrying about his well-being. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.